fight commentary breakdown, a lot of you asked me to watch some of the original Gracie Challenge fights. So what we have here is Hoist Gracie, which he's on the left side. And then we have the Gracie Academy claims this is an undefeated Kung Fu guy on the right, but that's debatable. But the guy on the right actually ends up competing in UFC later. I forgot his name. I'll find his name and I'll put him in the description. But let us begin and watch this. So we have, of course, the Kung Fu guy. His stance is, he's got the traditional kind of like stance. It's, you know, he's not a boxing stance, right? He's pretty wide. He's going, he's going for the kicks. Hoist is just waiting to take him down. Watch. He's, he's going to try to fake with the right leg, try to fake a kick. And when the Kung Fu guy reacts, the Hoist is going to go in right there, right there. Oh, get him. Oh, I thought. Okay, good, good. He got him. He got him. So take him down. Now, the Kung Fu guy, um, I think he has Hoist's neck, I believe. Yeah. You know, Hoist is in a perfect position to Von Flu choke this guy. I don't know if. I think the Von Flu choke was invented after BJJ came to America. So Hoist is just pounding away at the Kung Fu guy's body, but he could totally Von Flu choke right now. If you don't know what Von Flu choke is, just look that up. Hoist is now in full mount. Kung Fu guy, of course, does not know what he's doing. And Hoist is going to work his way up, unless this guy turns his back. So Hoist is going to work his way up because when you have someone in high mount, it's so hard to escape. So Kung Fu guy does not know what he's doing, right? He's, he's, okay, I, is Hoist going to, is Hoist going to choke him? I think Hoist is just kind of, just wants to show off a little, just kind of beat the Kung Fu guy after all. It's like, fuck Bruce Lee, fuck, okay, yeah, rear naked choke. He's got the hook in. He's he's not even locking his choke, right? He's just slowly. See, he's a man. Kung Fu guy, when you don't know what you're doing on the ground. I've been in these positions before, guys, and when I spar with MMA people, and it's it feels helpless, man. It feels fucking helpless. And Hoist is chopping down. That move, when you have someone in guard and you're chopping down with your heels, it's actually banned in UFC now. But is Hoist going to go for a... Okay, he's going for an arm bar or a triangle now. He's going for a triangle. Um, he, Look at the angling, right? It's... Oh, my God. This is... Kung Fu guy has some grit, but Hoist is also letting him off easy. Hoist is just... Oh, now he... Yeah. Oh, this is a bad position. Don't like, okay, the Kung Fu guy's trying to use his legs. <laughs> I was thinking if Kung Fu guy got desperate, he should bite the balls. He's in the perfect position to bite Hoist's balls. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's disgusting. <laughs> but, man, this is brutal. The lesson to this is you really have to learn how to fight on the ground because this is such a helpless position to be in, man. Wow, okay, guys.